I was saving that comment for being live. Uh, we're Did, waiting. And on, I wasted it. I don't know if we're live. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're streaming. I'm I don't pretty know if sure we're live, yeah. yeah. But we're just waiting alive. for a thumbs up. I'm alive. Are yeah. Alive? Oh, well, I'm very it's alive. It's a joy yeah. to be alive. It's a joy to be it's, alive, it's, isn't it? Isn't it, though? That beats being dead, doesn't it? I have no idea, actually. Really? you never been dead before? Not that I know of. Really? If I have, I, have, I don't remember it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, from what I know, I got a thumbs up. Uh, from are what you, you ready? Know you got, oh, definitely. Are you ready? I'm going to push some buttons over here. Push some buttons. I think I'll push the you? intro button. You like pushing buttons. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends, the world over, you were going to do it this week. I was, but I'm not going to. Oh, okay. You already started. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today, and welcome to episode number 47 of the Absolutely Amazing series known as Butcher Shop Television, a.k.a. BSTV. Today is Wednesday, February 14th, 2024, and we are broadcasting from smack dab in the middle of Jacob's Meat Market in Appleton, Wisconsin. My name is Eric, and with me, of course, the star of the show, the man himself, the mayor of Meatville, Luke, how are you? Eric, I'm fantastic. How happy, are you? Great. Happy Valentine's Day. Hey, happy Valentine's Day. I see you wore red. Yes. Do you Just usually wear red? the occasion. Uh, not usually, no. Not usually. Thanks so, for paying attention. Uh, a little bit. It's, uh, there's only been 40, 46 other ones, so I mean... You, I'll go back and look. Yeah, would you? I won't waste my time. Okay. You can tell me. Do you yes. usually? No, I didn't. White. I think white, you're typically, white. Yeah, yes. Typically white. Yes. So why are you wearing red today? Because of Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day, oh, yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Spread a little love. It's also Ash Wednesday. It is. We'll get uh, we'll get into that more later on. Okay. Okay. In the meantime, why don't I tell everybody what With we're going to do? With the jokes or what? Uh, I don't know. It'll, oh. It's foreshadowing. Oh, okay. We'll see what happens. Okay. This week, as per Tune usual, in, watch out. we'll discuss our location, any news, the meat market mailer, weekly specials. Uh, we'll have a special guest today. Really? Are we going to say who it is? Or should we I, wait? I don't know if I know who this special oh, guest well, is. Oh, yes, you do. We, we, <laughs> Oh, I, uh, I was playing. I was. Uh, oh, were playing. you? I was playing along there. I'll cover special upcoming days. Why don't you? And we'll uh, announce the winner of last week's contest. And I don't know. We're going to do another contest. Absolutely. Absolutely. Luke. Yes. For anyone who may not know, please. Mr. Mayor, I prefer us, to be Mr. called. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Mr. Mayor. Please yes. tell us where we are. We are at Jacobs Meat Market in beautiful Appleton, Wisconsin. Appleton, Wisconsin. I've been On there. the corner of Law and Pacific. You're oh, there right now. Am I there right now? You are. Good yes. To know. Yes. Am I on the corner of Law and Pacific? Uh, you're. Yeah. yeah. It's a nice place to be. Not, they're pretty close to the corner. Close enough. I'm close enough. Yeah. For government work. Right. Right. Um, about halfway between college and Wisconsin. <clears throat> Correct. Not quite, not quite downtown. Correct. Downtown adjacent. Adjacent to downtown, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Whichever way you want to go with that. <laughs> I have some news. Do you have any news? Uh, you don't have any news. I have news. No, why don't you do this go for it? This is community news. Community? That's what we're here for, to bring okay. news to the community. Okay. Do you know what As You Like It is? It's uh, a play. I don't. It's a play. Okay. By Shakespeare. Okay. And it the will William be... The William guy or the other one? The William guy. Okay. Who's the other one? Mister? Billy? Billy Shakespeare. Billy Shakespeare. Yeah, that's the same dude. <laughs> As You Like It, a play by William Shakespeare, uh -huh. will be performed uh, at the Cloak Theater at Lawrence University this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 7.30 p.m., and they'll have a matinee on Saturday at 2.30 p.m. Wow. Adults are $15. Seniors are $8. This is a good thing. What you about juniors? I have no idea. Why don't you call and ask? I'll get you their phone number. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go. Are you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is the Cloak Theater? Uh, if you're standing looking at the chapel. Lawrence, at the what? At the chapel. The, the Lawrence the chapel. University Chapel. Okay. okay. It's the building on the left. Okay. Chapel. Did I say that funny? How do you no. say chapel? Go ahead. <laughs> I was, never mind. Never mind. Yes. Um, like so, you said, the chapel. Like you said. Yes. As you like it. It's right next to the chapel. It's yes. very convenient. It is. Very conveniently located. I'm, I'm done with this subject, but okay. you seem like you have okay. something else you want to say. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. And that's it for the news. And now, a look at the weather. I, I see it. There it is. You yeah. see it? And if you'd like a look at your local weather, what do you suggest? I'd probably just look outside. Look outside. Look or outside. maybe even go outside. Could go outside. 
Should we, we do that want, right now? I didn't want to say they want, I didn't say we're going to experience the weather. Right. It's nice weather, by the way. Yeah, you said take a look at the weather. There will be snow overnight, supposedly. They say about two and a half inches, which means it could be nothing. Probably a dust. It could be three feet. Yeah. They don't know. <laughs> yeah, they don't know. Right. Let's hope it's not three feet. <sighs> we could deal with that. Yeah. We could we deal have. with that. We have, yeah. Tell everybody about the meat market mailer. I got Tell my copy this morning. Yes, you did. I like the meat market. Did you mailer. like it? I did. Yes. You did. Did you read it? I did, and 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 I noticed something. I'll bring that up in a minute. Okay, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> I All always right. read it. Yes, uh, the meat word market mailer. By, word for word. Word for I try word. I memorize it. Really? Yeah, just in case it comes up in this show. Okay. The meat market mailer. Oh. <laughs> How well do you think you did? <laughs> we'll find out. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Uh, the meat market mailer uh, is a an. Uh, Bi-weekly email. Okay. Right? Does that mean every other week or twice a week? Twice a week. Okay. What's what's twice a week? Because bi-weekly is every other week, isn't it? I think it's interchangeable now. It used is to it? be, yeah. Now it used it, to be one way, now it's the other way? Well, now it's bi? It's biannual used to mean... Every other year? Yeah, twice a year. Oh. And biennial was every two years, but now biannual can mean either one. And I think they did the same thing with bi-weekly. So it's twice a week. Twice a week, twice yes. A week. Yeah, Sunday week. and Wednesday. <gasps> Sunday is... The uh, Monday, Tuesday specials, as well as our weekly menu. Did you know that we serve lunches? I had no idea. Yeah, Monday through Friday, really? we serve lunches. Right one here? entree, two sides, and a soup. Usually. Is typically. Usually. Is typically offered. <laughs> this week, Rena's on vacation, so it's a, it's a soup-free week. Soupless week. Soupless, Soupless. yes. So yes. that's what you get on so Sunday. So that's on Sunday. And then on Wednesday, as everybody probably here already is on, but just in case they're not, we get the weekly specials. Oh. as well as a little joke and sometimes a little bit of little blurb about either the weekly specials or always about blurb. the week always yeah. a blurb. sometimes a lie sometimes, sometimes a an lie, outright yeah. lie i mean just to see if anybody's actually reading it yeah i was very pleased to know that someone's actually reading it yes uh, but i know i'm subscribed right yes if someone is not how do they get onto this how much does it cost uh if you mention this on bs tv <laughs> It is free. It's free. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't mention it on BS TV, however, it's also free. But don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. Yeah, don't, don't tell anybody. It's free. Right on our website, jacobsmeatmarket.com. On the right-hand side, enter your email address, and you are part of the club. Part of the club. That's yeah. a nice club, too. It's a nice Meat club. Meat Market Mailer Club. I will say that uh, in your email this morning, uh, I wonder if that comes up again. Uh, you mentioned Why don't you uh, just mention it Ash now and Wednesday later? Wednesday falls on Valentine's Day this year. Correct. And the last time it happened was in 1945. Now, the last that's time, what I mentioned, yes. It happened the last time in 1945, last century. This century, it happened in 2018. <laughs> Correct. So you yes. missed a couple of words. Right, <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I had my research team on it, and they failed me, so I think they're all fired. Fire them, so, fire yeah. Them. The, Anybody uh, interested in being on part of the research team, uh, just, just come on down and... <laughs> and what? And Fill out an ask. application. <laughs> um, but I thought 1945 was interesting because that's you a special year, You thought 1945? Were you around in 1945? I was not. You weren't? I okay. Was. How many I, years ago was you? that? Approximately. I'm going to say 78? 78? 70, 79, yeah. 79? Yeah. 79 yeah. this year. Yeah. Okay. And we know that because... Because Jacob's Meat Market was started in 1945, of course. You've been running this place since 1945? I said Jacob's Meat Market was, was started in oh, 1945, oh, not oh. I started it in 1945. Oh, no, I guess My grandpa say that. and his brother started it in oh, 1945. Really? Yeah. Your third generation? Grandpa John and Uncle Leonard. Wow. Yes. So, so the fact that Ash Wednesday falls on Valentine's Day is. Oh, is that is, why we brought this up? Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Why we brought okay. This up. okay. That probably means it's a good year. Right. Probably. It's a great year to be alive. Isn't, yeah. Yes. I agree. I agree. Yes. And it's uh, time for the weekly specials, but first you owe me a joke. Yes. Uh, so <sighs> what has five toes and is on neither of your feet? Neither of my feet. Correct. I don't know. Because you were going to guess my other foot. I was going to say foot. my other yeah, foot. Yeah, yeah whatever. Uh, my foot. Uh, can you prove it? <laughs> don't. <laughs> Was that a Valentine's Day joke? Yeah. 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 I don't know how. You'll explain that to me later. Yes. I, I did bring a joke. You oh, did. What kind of flowers should you not give on Valentine's Day? Um, I'm not sure. Cauliflowers. Oh, yeah. That's probably not Unless a good somebody one. really likes cauliflower. Yeah. That might be an appropriate gift. I was thinking gift. tulips, but I'm, that probably wasn't going to be. You can get that. Valentine's yeah. Day. As yeah, long you as should. it's uh, you shouldn't not. consensual. Right. <laughs> 
What? I have a second one. Because you do? Valentine's okay. Oh, I hope it's just as <laughs> good as the first as one. Good, yes. Right? Okay. How come you're turning all red now? <laughs> I For Valentine's Day? Yeah. All right. Way to get my, into the... My gift to you. Yes, thank you. What to me we... or the audience? To you. To the two people they watching. They don't pick on me like you. <laughs> yeah, my mom and sister. What did one pickle say to the other pickle on Valentine's Day? One pickle say yeah. to the other pickle on Valentine's Day. I'm not really sure. You mean a great deal to me. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a good terrible, one. That's terrible, good. terrible, terrible. That's good. I, I have buttons for the weekly specials. Should you we do. just go right over them? Yeah, let's do that. Let me find them. My first button says ribeye. <clears throat> ribeye. Like rib yes, yes. Uh, we have USDA Choice heart shaped oh, ribeyes. The heart shaped? Yes. For Valentine's Day. Correct. Oh, fantastic. Correct. So we actually, uh, we were in the Appleton Magazine showing our heart shaped ribeye off. Um, and we had people coming on Monday and Tuesday asking about the heart-shaped ribeyes because they saw it in there. Uh -huh. um, I don't know. Also, we had some people come in that were asking about it because they had purchased it in previous years as well. So we had some somebody just this morning that didn't know that they were on sale or anything like that, but they came they in came for the heart-shaped ribeye because it's their annual trip. Annual trip to Jacob's for Meat Market? Annual trip for uh, heart-shaped heart ribeye. Heart-shaped ribeye. Yes, yes. Um, we have one to show. We do. Yeah. We do. It's a beautiful heart shape. It really right is. Here. Yeah. Can you see it? Uh, yeah. Show it to the show. Show it to the computer. Can you see it? I can see it. You can. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we have a heart. The heart shape. Don't, don't on drop your, it on my computer. On your, <laughs> on your left hand side there, and then we also have uh, also on sale this week is uh, beef tenderloin, the regular and the bacon wrapped as well. So we have the regular ones here, and then the bacon wrapped ones here. Um, those are the steaks. We also have the whole ones on sale as well. So the ribeyes are on sale. And yes. The, the heart-shaped ribeyes are $14.99 a pound. Um, the whole tenderloins are $14.99 a pound as well, as well as uh, $15.99 a pound for the steaks. And these are steaks regular or bacon that you just showed? Pardon? These are steaks that you just steaks, showed? Correct. Steaks, correct. Correct. Yep. Also a Valentine's Day favorite. Correct. Yes. And th these steaks... Nothing says I love uh, you like a good like piece a of good meat. tenderloin. Could you say that again? I don't think I heard you correctly. <laughs> Nothing says I love you like a good piece of meat. From Jacob's Meat Market? From Jacob's Meat Market. There you go. Yes. There you go. Yeah. I'm moving yeah, on to we'll go with I'm that. moving on to brats. Yes, yes. We have some Jacob's own chicken brats, oh. four sixty nine a pound. Now are these pork? These are not pork. These so are porkless. You take the pork out. Take and the you pork put out the chicken in. Put the chicken in, yeah. What, if do, you can talk it into it. If you can talk it into the it. chicken, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes um, it's just the chicken. What do they taste they like? Don't. Do they taste like chicken or do they taste like a brat? They taste like a brat. Because the same spices. Yeah, so same just spices. Different meat, pork same product. spices, so it tastes yep. the same. Yep. Some people think that they're, uh, well, they are um, less fattening than a, just a regular pork brat because they're made with chicken and uh, dark meat chicken, so they don't dry out when you oh, cook them. They sound good. They're Especially delicious. Especially since they have the brat flavor, which is what I like. Correct. So when we start, a little, little backstory here There's just to make story. BSTV longer because you're not doing anything the rest of the day anyway. Um, but so, a lot of people say, you know, chicken brats, you know, that I don't really like them. They're probably going to be dry or whatever. So when we first started producing these, before we were mass producing them, um, my dad said, there's no way that a chicken brat will sell. They're going to taste terrible. They're going to, everybody's going to be able to tell the difference. So one night I had a regular pork one and a chicken brat that I cooked on the grill at the did same you time. Fool your father? I did. I did. I said, boy, dad, how was that brat? He said, it was really good. It, just just like a regular brat, why is that? And I said, because that was a chicken brat, Dad. Oh. He couldn't even tell the difference. I mean, a guy that's been eating brats for his whole life. So they must be good. They're delicious, they yes, good. yes. Just as good as the pork ones, but just a little, maybe a little bit less fat in them. Well, I'm planning on a ribeye tonight, but maybe, okay. maybe for tomorrow, the, the chicken brats. Sure, Because I, sure. I like brats, but I, I prefer the pork brats. But yeah. since you Have say you ever it, had the chicken ones? No, but oh, since you say okay. it's the same spices, yeah. if it has the same flavor profile, Correct. I'm good. Yes, yes, they I'm definitely do. Also moving along to yes. something called cards. Yes, uh, we have uh, Made With Love Karen's Greeting Cards. Oh, is that one of them? Do you remember when she was on the I show? I do, I do remember. Yeah, yeah. I remember one of, her, one of her best quotes was that she, was, she wasn't, she didn't want to be on the show because she doesn't really know what I was going to say. Well, yeah, and everybody has that problem. Like, yeah, right, right. Um, but so uh, I actually have one of uh, one of her cards here um, on display. They're all different. She makes them all individually. That's they're, they're not mass produced like a you know like a Hallmark or something like that. Um, just a just a really cool homemade card um, that she makes and stamps oh, and, a hard and does. Too. Yes, oh. yes. And these are on sale this week. These are yeah, a dollar ninety nine. No, no, you can't beat that. I can't mean, beat that. how much how much do you pay for I mean, a regular? If, if you want to give somebody a card, card right. this is the card to get. Right. And they're made with love. I mean, it says it right on the ad. 
Does it say made right? with love? Made with love. Yeah. Yes. I, I see that now. I see that. Do now. you? I do. Um, yeah. So come get your cards. Yes. Do you want to do this one, or you want to go to the Linton? Yeah, whatever specials? you want to do. All right, Linton you're specials. Manning, you're manning the. Uh, I've got something called lobster. 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 Yes. We have some frozen, cold water lobster tails for thirty-four ninety-nine. As opposed to hot water. Uh, warm water. As opposed to warm water. Yes. Okay. Yes. You put them in the hot water to cook them. To cook them. Yes. But these are from the cold waters. From the cold waters? Yes. Of okay. South Africa. Of South Africa? Yes. It sounds like you made that up, but you might know what you're talking about. I do know exactly oh, okay. what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, so we have some, some uh, the smaller ones are from South Africa and the larger ones are from um, Maine and North, okay. like the, the Canada, Canadian region. Canadian region. Right, where the waters are And these cold. are uh, the frozen. The land of cold blue waters. Frozen. Cold blue water. Wait, what is it? how does that go? Is the land of sky, sky blue waters? I don't know. That's Labat Blue, I think. But we could just sit here and discuss yeah. it. Anyway. Hiawatha? Anyway. <laughs> I think it's Hiawatha. We'll get back to you next okay. week. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm going Maybe to the, I'm going to the Faroe that. Islands now. Yes, you're going to the Faroe Islands? I am. Really? The, oh, it's When one. are you leaving? It's Faroe Islands. As soon as we're done here, I'm out. <laughs> All right, uh, so fresh Faroe Island salmon that just came in. It just flew in. Just the salmon didn't just fly in. Oh, okay. They were they were on the plane. They were on the plane. Yes. And now they're here. And now they're here. Yes. Okay. Uh, they're fifteen ninety nine a pound. Um, the whole fillets are three to four pounds, but we cut them down to. I, do. I can see them. Can personal. I? Those are they. Oh yes. Oh, yes. They look. They were. They had literally just gotten in here about ten minutes before we started the show. So um, Nate just cut them up and and uh, Those put are them in fresh, there. Fresh, fresh. Yes. Yes. They they definitely are. And I know you were going to ask where the Faroe Islands are. Where are the, where is the Faroe Island? <laughs> there are multiple islands. Oh, oh. It's yeah, a group I, of islands? I, sorry, I, I, I forgot the S in oh, Faroe okay. Islands. Where are the Faroe Islands, uh, Luke they are, Jacobs? <laughs> they are, <laughs> did you read that off a script yeah. or something? Yeah, Couldn't yeah, okay. Tell? Yeah, uh, so it's about halfway between um, Norway and Iceland. Oh, up so, there. Up there, yeah, Probably way up there. Probably surrounded by water. I think so, okay. yeah, yeah, okay. much water. <laughs> Much water. Um, so these are technically farm raised, but they raise them in huge pens in the in ocean. In the ocean. Yeah. Okay. So they're in their natural environment, but they are, you know, they're they're they make sure what they're fed. They make sure that they're, you know, no outside. So sort of a controlled environment. Yes. But it's in very. the ocean. Yes. Yeah. Easier yes. to fish them that way. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. They look they look edible. I'll tell you that. They much. do. Yes. I mean, I would cook yes. it first. Would you? Some people probably wouldn't. Yeah, maybe not. Uh, I would. I you like, would. I prefer cooked fish. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, not raw. All the way from Faroe Islands. Yes. Wow. I, and so I was always told that it was a territory of Norway, and it and it might be. I haven't done a ton of research. I've got to get my new research team. I think on it this. is an autonomous territory of Denmark. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but don't trust me for I'm research. <laughs> <laughs> I will not. I'm moving on to. Yes. Uh, yes, just, uh, just for the halibut. Just for the halibut. Just yes. For the halibut. Yes. Did you say? Did, were you waiting all week to use that joke? No, or? I just made it up. Oh, yeah. I just for the halibut. Use that joke. Were you? Oh, you just were. Step right up. You yes, can use step it. Step right up. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's heard it yet. <laughs> uh, so we have some fresh wild caught Canadian halibut. Canadian wild caught. Yeah. Fresh. That's also in the case. Right? That is also in. The, that oh, also came on the same same boat or same truck or same oh, they whatever. Were, they were passengers together. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yes, <laughs> fellow one travelers. box over. Uh, fellow now, travelers, halibut yes. Halibut is a flatfish. Yes. That is a very thick flatfish. Yes, it's a thicker flatfish. It's a very thick flatfish. Yeah, yes. Uh, that looks good too. Yes. Okay, you should come down here and it get It looks delicious, yes, yes. Uh, it's only twenty two ninety nine a pound this week, but, but it's fresh. It's fresh. Yeah. From Canada and was flown in. Yes. Yeah, so it's really fresh. I, it didn't fly in with me. But no. Uh, we were not. We to. were not fellow travelers. <laughs> <laughs> not many people would want to travel with me. Yeah, and I like halibut. Do you? I do. I probably like halibut more than salmon. Really? I don't know. Everybody's crazy about salmon. Right. But it's a stronger flavor. Is it okay? For me. Sure. I, so I prefer halibut. It's okay. delicious. Yes. All right. There's Friday night for me. Yeah. There so we, we go. So we got, uh, Wednesday is the heart shaped ribeye. Ribeye. And then Thursday I got the brats, is the yeah, and then the halibut. Brats, halibut. Just for the halibut. What, let's do. You want to do orange ruffy on Saturday? Well, is it on sale? Yes, it is. Thirteen ninety nine a pound. <laughs> as a matter of fact, orange yes. ruffy is very good. Yes, very good. Now this is frozen. Frozen, yes. Okay. At the peak of freshness. So it's, it's probably. I think it's the third shelf from the bottom on the right hand side. Third shelf. <laughs> you're, you're gonna good. you're gonna roll the tape back. 
And do what with it? Make sure that I'm right. I don't. I don't have to make sure. I was about to say I don't care. Oh, but yeah. that's the truth too. <laughs> that's true. I don't yes, really care. Yeah, if it's true, you can say it. Yeah, I'll I'll report back next week if yes. I find that you were wrong. Okay. Because that would yeah, be. Yeah, but if I'm astounded. right, then you're. No, I just, just let it go. Just, Everyone just, assumes you're right. You know right. your store. Right. <sighs> Uh, anything else you want to say about the orange ruffle? Uh, no, but should we talk about uh, Lenten specials? Uh, sure, because those last four items are the Lenten specials for this week. Yes. But this is something that you do throughout Lent. Yes, so yes. So that's probably what you Lent, want to mention. Lent, which, which starts on Ash Wednesday and goes all the way through um, Easter Sunday. It's, uh, it's, it, that's a good question. Many is people Easter Sunday Lent? Always on a Sunday? No, it is. <laughs> Is it considered part of Lent, or no. is that the end of Lent? No, that's the end of that's Lent. That's the end of Lent. Yes, I believe it's the, um, the Holy Saturday Mass before, um, it, which is part of the Triduum um, in the Catholic in the Catholic faith. But I remember on Sunday, you know, if you gave up soda or if you gave up chocolate or sweets well, or something like up? that on Sundays, Sunday, you yeah, have, you uh, you went right to the to the fridge and grabbed that soda and slammed it and whatever. Uh, but I just want to experience. mention that typically on Friday nights. Um, uh, people would observe not eating meat and they would eat um, um, seafood. Okay. So we have Lenten specials. Um, I would like to do, and, I, and I've planned for two fresh items and a, as well as two frozen items every week during seafood Lent. Items. Seafood, yes. For Lent. Yes. Lenten specials yes. throughout Lent. Yes, correct. The Lent season. I'm correct. not sure what you call it. Lenten season, yes. Lenten season. Yeah. Um, so you already know what's coming next week. I do. Oh, don't tell anybody. Don't I do. Don't tell anybody. I haven't had this yet, so. And and so, I'm not a huge. I don't know. I don't have a, a ton of knowledge about um, seafood <laughs> in general. Yes, yeah. Right I need to. I need to. Yeah, expand on that. Um, so I, I don't have the the most vast knowledge of seafood. Oh. Okay. Um, so I was talking to my seafood guy yesterday, and I asked him about all of these all of these items um, so that you, I have now scheduled. Now you have more knowledge. Yes. Now I have more knowledge, um, as well as he is going to be on BSTV on March 13th. So He'll he's going right to be on here. next month. Well, yes. You can ask yes. all these questions. He was super excited. Yes. Was he? Yes, good, he was. Good. As he should. He, was. he hasn't, seen, he hasn't, he hasn't seen, seen it yet, but so yeah, yeah, but he's excited to do it. Well, um, that's probably why he's excited. Correct. He hasn't seen it. Until he, <laughs> the, the excitement might you know lessen oh, as, as it comes up to it. But I would like to, I've had a ton of questions throughout the years about seafood, and I always had a, a, a person to um, have my, as my source, not my research team, but as a source oh, uh, to ask these questions to about because uh, yes a knowledgeable source yes um and so in the comments if you have any seafood questions that you want him to answer oh. on march 13th oh, good. Good you could uh, comment yeah you, you could comment in the in facebook or or youtube um what you we'll would like us them. to ask we'll yes. collect them and when he's here you can ask those yes questions. oh fantastic yes. maybe that'll be the a suggestion for this week's contest. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. 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 Yes, yes. Um, I have one more special. You do. I do, and you get to show everybody what that is. Oh, there are free uh, hugs, hugs and, kisses. and kisses. Yes. While supplies last. While supplies and last. We have a few more than this. Uh, or is this it? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Those are yours. I'll right? go out and get some more. Yes, yes. Yeah, we have we have now, plenty of them. Uh, 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 just so everyone knows, these these are kisses. Those are kisses. Yes. And, and these are hugs. Yes. Okay. So these are the hugs and kisses you're talking about. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, do you know the difference between a hug and a kiss? This regarding, is not a joke. Regarding the, regarding the Hershey's. Well, ones. Yes. this is uh, chocolate, probably milk chocolate. Yep. And the hug it looks like a swirl of some kind, but I don't know the difference. Why don't you? I think there's a. a isn't there a, an almond in the? Oh, is there an almond? I believe there's an almond in oh. the in the hugs. You believe? I believe, yeah. We're going to have to research yeah, this. So Where's the research team that I just fired? I volunteer. Before you go, I volunteer. before you go, Mr. Research Team. <laughs> yeah, so free hugs and kisses while supplies last. Did, did anybody mention we have a special guest this week? You I did. Think I think yeah, I said that sometime. You did, yes. And, and we didn't reveal who it was or will Correct. be or is. It's Correct. Cupid. I know Cupid. Oh, you do? And he can't be here personally, but I have his phone number. You do? I've known him for years, so I think I'll just get him on the phone. How's that Would sound? Would you? Let's hope he answers. Yes. It's a busy day, you know. It, yes. That's what I hear. I, I'll just, I'll hold it. I'll do Up speaker phone. And I'll, oh, yeah, okay. See if okay. this works. See if this works. Yeah, see? Oh, Cupid. Yeah, there it is. I told you, I have Cupid. Cupid's on my phone. Speaker. I better put it on speaker. Turn up the volume. Pump up the volume? Do you have, do you have reception in here? Huh? <laughs> Go for Cupid. 
Cupid, it's Eric. How are you? Eric? Yeah. How are you doing? I'm long doing time well. No long time no see. Well. Uh, I should warn you before you say anything else that uh, oh. this telephone conversation is being broadcast live on Butcher Shop Television uh, via YouTube. On, via OBS TV. Oh, you've heard of it. Oh, jeez. I have to say, I am a fan. Oh, he's and a fan. hello to all the, uh, all the BST viewers today. BST viewers. BST viewers. BST I like viewers. it. I like it. Luke, Cupid, so Cupid, Luke. Hey, You're Cupid. There. This means... You're not alone. This is this is Luke. Is there with you? I presume. This is Luke. Yes, yeah. sir. Surely you recognize the voice. Surely. I, I apologize. I apologize in advance. <laughs> I know it. It must be a very busy day for you today. But I thought, since it is Valentine's Day, I'd call and ask you questions that everybody wants to know. Everyone who comes to the butcher shop, anyway. You got time I mean, for that? You did. You just happened to pick the one busiest day of the year for me. But yeah, I, I planned that in advance. I always have time for you. Absolutely no Oh, oh. Absolutely. Did he take lessons from you or did you yes. take lessons from yes. him? Yes. I don't know. All right. He was here first. <laughs> uh, my, I, then if you're ready, I have questions. You ready? Uh, give me a sec to stretch. Uh, okay, I'm ready. Bing. <laughs> uh, first question, what is your favorite cut of beef? Ooh, Ooh. that's a tough one. I, a I tough could be one? called. I'm, I'm a not a not a tough a tough. Oh, tough a tough beef. question. No, 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 tough oh, question. okay, okay. No, a tough question. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I, w I I mean, I'm I'm a steak guy. So okay. So ribeye's gotta be the way I go. Uh -huh. And actually, this time of year, I can often I can find heart shaped ones. Wow. Well, obviously. Are you watching the show? <laughs> Whoa, oh man. <laughs> yeah, the heart shaped ones for today. That's a good choice. Yeah. And, and ribeye is I my mean, favorite too. Yeah. You can't go wrong. Uh, I, I'm going to say good answer. What are you going to That's say? That's a great That's answer, a great yes. Answer. Uh, next question. Do you have a favorite flavor of bratwurst? The world wants to know. Right. I mean, I got to I've tried. If there's a flavor of bratwurst out there, I have tried it, most certainly. All of them. But if I had to pick favorites. Yeah, that was see, the question. I mean, I'm a, I'm a fan of ambrosia brat. Ambrosia brat. Or, <laughs> ambrosia or, uh, zucchini brat zucchini is a great brat. flavor. Oh, like um, a I'm partial to jalapeno brat. I like oh, a little bit of spice every once in a while. Cheddar. But if I had to pick a, a yeah, yeah, so you have to pick. Favorite, <laughs> yeah, the show wasn't I that long, to you, but then you've got you've got people to get back to. Right, no, this he is has true, time for me. Oh, okay. He has time for me. <laughs> anyway, you were saying <laughs> my absolute favorite has got to be just. Your standard pork brat, because when I think of brat, that is what it's supposed to taste. That I was, so, I'm going to say that's the correct answer. Yes, you seem you're, old school. You're, you're, you're two for however many Back questions two I've had. Two, right two, two yeah. for two, yeah. Yes. But now we're moving on. Do okay. you do you have a favorite seafood? For Lent. Mm, for Lent, yes. Let's be honest. Oh well, yeah, please, I'm not honest a answers only. Seafood guy. Oh, I'm not, not a big seafood, seafood guy. Okay. If I'm feeling fancy, on occasion, every once in a while, you know, I'll go for a, a crab or a lobster. Oh. Only if I'm feeling fancy. Makes sense. Or, um, I mean, if the sauce is right, I could be partial to, to oysters from time to time. Oh, oh. But, but rarely. Rarely. But, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. So if he, uh, not if he, he doesn't have a favorite. I'm going to say right. he doesn't have a favorite. But he, no favorite. He, he no can favorite. be forced no. to you eat a lobster. You can't talk for Cupid. From, well, apparently not. <laughs> he just corrected me. Yes. <laughs> Uh, and uh, let's see, what is something that can always be found in your refrigerator? Oh, chocolate kisses. Oh, that was a fast answer. No, what no, Lita, chocolate kisses. I mean, chocolate kisses. They, they are in there. I mean, you can imagine flying around, shooting my arrows. It takes, I gotta burn a lot of calories. I can't, oh. I can't be a, a big Cupid. So I, I gotta throw down like at least two, three thousand chocolate kisses a day just to keep up. A day? A day? Wow. A day. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, I notice you. If my, I fridge has no, if my fridge has no chocolate kisses, there is something more going wrong in the world, I tell you. Oh, th I'm sure there is. But, I mean, you have to keep up that physique since you, since I don't think I've ever seen you with a shirt on. Well, no, well, that's the thing. So, it's the flying. I don't have to do anything extra to keep up the physique. Oh, this is I right. What he uses for flying. Yeah. beating my wings and flying, so it's, it kind of takes wings. care of itself. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, uh, Hershey's Kisses. Hershey's Kisses, 3, yes. 3,000 a day. Two no, to 3,000. I, I, could, I could get on board with that. Yes. I have the last question. I won't keep you very long. What, Cupid, what is something that few people know about you? Ooh, a rare Cupid fact. 
Well, I like pina coladas. And getting caught in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not into yoga. Something about a brain. Oh, do you have half a brain? <laughs> yeah, if you, if you have half a brain, yes. If you have half a brain. Well, wow. thank you very much for taking my call on this very busy day. Uh, I think if I remember correctly, Cupid, the last time we saw each other was in Edinburgh when we had dinner with your mom, and I noticed you've lost your your accent, your, your brogue. What's going on? Oh, now, Eric, that was indeed the last time that you saw each other together. The accent's not gone entirely. It's just... Oh, it came okay. back. It came I back. think it so just came back. Understand. Turns it on when he needs <laughs> So I got it, you know, it's got to be hidden from time to time. It only comes out and I only use it when it's absolutely necessary. Well, thank you but for thank you for showing it to us. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, Cupid, and thank you once again for taking my phone call. Say hello to your mom and we'll catch up soon. Yes, happy Valentine's Day to you as well. Oh, happy Valentine's wait, wait, did Day. Did you want to ask your question? No, I... I <laughs> you have a question you usually ask people. Do you like apples, yeah. Cupid? Do I like apple? I mean, you could an apple could be called vaguely heart shaped, so of course I like apple. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. But he means Apple computers. Yeah, then the phones. But I know he's not a fan. Oh, we should pro we should probably end the call. <laughs> 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 well, but but Luke has an iPhone, but he's on P he uses a PC for a computer. Oh, so he's a hybrid? He's a hybrid. Hybrid, yeah, yes, that's, yes. That's, that's the nicest that's thing I've heard him call. Yeah, thank, you, thank you for the compliment. <laughs> yeah. Cupid, I'll catch up with you later. Bye. Thank Sounds you. Bye-bye. Ta-da. That was Cupid. I didn't know you Cupid. had his number. Yeah, we've known each other for years. Really? Yeah, know his mom, too. In oh. fact, I met his mom first. Where's Edinburgh? Edinburgh? Scotland. Sure. Scotland? Scotland. Oh, oh okay. Edinburgh. I don't know where Edinburgh is. Yeah. I'm moving on to special days. Not, yes. not that today that is not really, a very special really day. That was really, really cool. Yeah, that was fun. That I, was didn't, fun. Uh, I didn't know what to expect when you said that Cupid was going to be calling. Well, now you know. Yes. Now you know. Aside from today, which is very special because it is Valentine's Day and Ash Wednesday. Oh, I said that already. Yes. We've already gone through that. Tomorrow, February 14th, is National Wisconsin Tomorrow, Day. Tomorrow is the 15th. February 15th. Yes. It's National... I said 14th, didn't I? You did. Caught me. He listens. When right. did you start listening? Right. Just now. Tomorrow the 15th, National Wisconsin Day. Really? And I think we're in Wisconsin, right? We are, okay, yes. So Appleton. Tomorrow is a day to celebrate. What do they do for that? Uh, uh, most people eat brats. Oh, okay. <laughs> and drink beer? Drink beer. Okay. Uh, this Saturday, uh, February 17th, is National Random Acts of Kindness Day. Now, that's Ooh. every day for you, I, I thought know. that was every day, yeah, yes. yes. And I like to, yeah. I like that random acts yes. of kindness. Can you give me any, an example of a random act of kindness? I will give one. Okay. I will give one. <laughs> that was a rhetorical question, okay. I'm giving you okay. time to think. Yes. <laughs> because you I might, you might right come away. up with this. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> no, after you. No, age before no, beauty. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll buy that. Every once in a blue moon, I'll go to my car. I'll get in the car, I'll start the car, I'll look out the windshield, and there's a note there in my windshield wiper. Really? With just a happy face on it. Yeah? And I don't know who leaves them. But that's fun. I like that. I mean, yes. I don't even mind getting out of the car to go retrieve it. Oh, it's not a, it's not a, you're just driving down the highway and you flip the windshield wipers no, out no, so no, it flies off it. so somebody else can it. find it? No, I, I usually recycle it. Oh. I do. I recycle do. it? Really? I, I give it to someone else. Oh, okay. <laughs> So I like that. Yeah. You had that's an really example cool. of a random act of kindness. Yeah. So once in a while, um, you'll put, going a, through you'll a, put the, a little smile. <laughs> yeah, right, right. That's not the one that I had in mind. Um, but uh, if you're at a drive through or if you're at a restaurant or something like that, paying for somebody else's meal. Oh, yeah. On your way out is, the door. Is awesome. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes. I think sometimes, sometimes, well, yes, you have to, that's the random part of it. That's random. But sometimes I, I, I look in the rearview mirror and see their reaction because it's, like that's that's the really really cool part about it. Oh, some, like some yeah, some some people like are, are dumbfounded. That. Some people are. I'll follow you around. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Would you? Would you? Yes. Just get in line yes. behind you. So that's that's so really that's, fun to do. Saturday is the day for that. But yes. Like I said, every, day. every day is a right. Nice day yes. This Monday, February nineteenth, is President's Day. I mention this because it can be a holiday, but you're open. We are open. You're yes. Open. Yeah. So banks are closed. We're open. Banks are closed. There's no mail. Schools are probably closed. Um, I think they're open. But you're open. That's We're open, one. yes. That's we don't care one. about schools. And look at that Tuesday. We don't care that the schools are closed. <laughs> we don't Not care. that we don't care about schools. Tuesday, February 20th, that's this coming Tuesday, Yes, is Max's birthday. 
Max. Max from behind the counter here, who is, Max from is now nowhere to hiding. be seen. Now he's hiding. But happy birthday early to Max. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to Max. And I'm going to move on to the giveaway. That's great research from last week. on there. Well, it's the research department. Yes. Occasionally, well, I don't know if it's his birthday. <laughs> so, uh, I did so not are we going to say verify. also in the comments? Yeah, also in the comments, please yes, wish Max If you want to wish Max, Max a happy birthday. Maybe guess his age, the too. Traditional, the traditional spelling of his Max. Max. Well, yeah. His name is Max. Yes. Max. Yeah. Yes. And that's my understanding is it's it's not short for anything. That's right. Max. Is his Correct. Name. Correct. Yeah. So if you want to comment in the comments, happy birthday to Max. And even maybe if you don't want to comment in the comments, please comment with happy birthday to Max. Yeah. So especially if you've never commented before. Right. I might that even would be do awesome. That. Yeah, yeah. That would be fun. Happy birthday to Max. read that off. Uh, giveaway from last week. Do you remember the prize? Uh, Heart-shaped ribeye, heart was it? Ribeye. Because I tried to give it away this week, but you said we already did. We're already doing yeah, that. I nixed that, didn't I? Yeah, I right. That. Right. But, but it's a better you prize. You like doing that. Well, I was going to say it's a better prize, but it's a nice prize. It, it is. is. Very nice. Anyway, prize. yes. I'm going to read comments from last week. Steve said munchies. I just, I guess he had to say munchies. Maybe um, he had them. Maybe he had them. Kim said, while dating my wife, when our first Valentine's Day, I, I hope we find out by yeah, reading okay, this. Okay. When our first Valentine's Day approached, she told me that if I showed up with a dozen roses, we were through. She said, only dummies spend that much for flowers that only last a couple of days. At that point, I knew she was the one. Aww. I still don't know what we asked. Oh, your favorite Valentine's thing? Yeah. Your favorite Valentine's memory? Or you, yeah. What do you yeah. do on Valentine's Day? Yeah. Steve says munchies. Munchies, yeah. yeah. Going to circle back there. Yeah, right, right. Uh, and oh, uh, Kim, Kim gave us uh, his memory. I've got a couple of stories about him after, maybe after BSTV. Oh, yeah, after. Are they any good? Maybe he's going to, oh, they're good, they're good, yes. Winner of this week He uh, watches every week, so is Rudy. Watching, I'm right just going to ignore you. And <laughs> Rudy, who said, I am going to go there and pick up the summer sausage. It is excellent. And maybe some cheese spread. Well, now you have to come back, Rudy, because you got to. Oh, that, that was prior to the Super Bowl. That was prior to. Yeah. We didn't even mention the Super Bowl. That's ancient history, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Good entertainment, though. I didn't though. Even watch it. Oh, yeah, you missed it. Yeah. Um, I was down in, Mil down in Milwaukee. Uh, so stealing, Rudy, stealing Rudy comes in and can get a, uh, a heart shaped ribeye. Yes. I didn't hear what you said. Was it Good. interesting? Uh, no, probably not. This week, what's the prize? Tell them the prize. The prize is a $50 bill. A 50, an actual a crisp legitimate? One. Yes. Not a Monopoly $50 Not a monopoly. bill either. It's a right. real U.S. Right. currency? U.S. currency, US currency. yes. $50 bill. Yes. And to enter this contest, just leave a comment either here in YouTube or on Facebook once you get it posted to Facebook. Yes. And uh, you're asking for seafood questions because yep. we have the seafood guru who's going to be on BSTV next seafood month. Seafood guru, right. Next yes. month. Yep. A and wish Max a happy birthday. And if you want to, you can... <laughs> guess his age? Guess his age. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Well, even if you don't want to, you can guess his age. Yeah. I mean, for a fifty dollar bill, for why a fifty dollar bill? Why would you not comment? Yeah. I'm gonna comment. Oh yeah. I'm gonna comment. Multiple times. <laughs> only one entry. Wow. Yeah. Or many <laughs> entries you want. No, this was the only one. Really. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> the only one. Oh, Eric. Eric, that's the only one. Okay. That's all I've got. That's, that's all, I've, all got. I've got too. Really? You yes. got your your final line. Oh, that's right. Thanks for watching. We'll be back again next Wednesday, which is not going to be Ash Wednesday, nor is it going to be Valentine's Day. And I'll be back in my white um, uh, at 1030 a.m. for a live broadcast of Butcher Shop Television. Please like this video and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Come visit us at the store uh, at the corner of Law and Pacific in Appleton, Wisconsin, where we are open Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And thank you, Cupid. I'm sure you're watching. Yes, yes. I'm, he's, I'm sure Bye. he's a fellow watcher. <laughs>